So obviously this is not a cello. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> so it may be a little jarring for some of our viewers who have never seen a gamba before. Yes. It's, it's not a cello. What is, tell us more about like the big differences besides the sure, strings. Sure, sure, sure. Um, well, I think the biggest um, misconception a lot of people have is they think the viola da gamba is the predecessor to the cello. It's, re it's really not. It's actually a totally different family of instrument. Um, so the viola da gamba um, originated in Italy. Um, that's why we have the Italian name viola da gamba, viola, viol, string instrument. Gamba means leg in Italian, so it's a string instrument held between the legs. Um, it's actually more related to the guitar family, mm -hmm. going back in my history books, but when the Moors settled in Spain, they had these like um, vihuelas that they, well, vihuela was the Spanish name, but they had these guitar uh, um, plucked instruments and eventually they had the addition of a bow um, to these um, plucked instruments. So that's kind of the, uh, the Spanish really liked that idea and then it kind of traveled to Italy and the Italians kind of um, modified the instrument to what we see today. Um, but the major difference is, um, if, actually, Evan, if you want to, we have a flat back, a violin, violin and cello have a curved back. So this is, it's very identical to a guitar. So flat back here. Um, number of strings, obviously we've got way more strings. I have seven on this instrument. Um, violin, cello, we have four, right? Um, frets, that's another big one, it's very um, visible. And it's, um, the viola da gamba is a very chordal instrument, so it allows, the frets help us to tune chords and all that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. We have, um, the gamba is tuned in fourths, with a, there's a third in the middle between these two strings, so the tuning is very different. Um, the other difference um, that often catches people's eye is the way we hold the bow. Mm -hmm. um, so violin and cello we hold overhand like this. Um, the gamba is held underhand and actually my two fingers right here are actually manipulating the hair so I'm constantly playing with the tension of the wow. hair to um, create the articulation I want, the sustain I want. Um, so I like to, I had a teacher once who um, called it plucking with the bow. It's sort of we're always wanting to feel that tactile mm -hmm. um, feel between fingers and the string and so when we're doing this with the, the hairs we can really get different articulations out of the instrument than you than I think you can on violin and cello. So mm. wow. yeah, we're totally different style of playing. I didn't realize it was so completely different. Yeah. Like yeah. So when you are manipulating that with you with mm -hmm. your hands, like what can you can you demonstrate? Sure, a sure. So like when I first put the bow on the string, I've got my fingers poised here, and then if I want to do a nice long crescendo, I'm actually pulling. And then when I release the when I release the tension, the sound tapers away. So that's all from these fingers right there. Wow. Yeah. So when we're doing it, we're really feeling it more through these, these yes, fingers. Yes, exactly, and kind of more mm -hmm. whole arm feel. But here, a lot of the action is just right in here. <laughs> That's so <Yep>. cool. <laughs> and what about this yes. other instrument? Yeah, so here, this is a Baroque cello. A lot of similarities to Evan's violin here. We've got, I mean, um, curved back, all of that. Um, mm -hmm. Correct number of strings. So. <laughs> but it, um, the Baroque cello is held the same way as the viola da gamba, just straddled in between the calves. Yeah, it really makes you feel, uh, um, shows how important it is to 
your sitting posture because it's totally different from playing modern cello. And so obviously this doesn't have an end pin yet. Mm -hmm. So when the end pin was invented, what did that do for for the repertoire for yeah. just the yeah. flexibility of the instrument? Yeah. Um, well, I will say the the first instances of end pins we see in 18th century and really they were just a wooden stick and it really didn't change the way you held the instrument. Um, you know, I, I think the most, uh, from my understanding, like long operas, sometimes cellists would just, ugh, you know, put the end pin there, just give themselves a little break, but it wouldn't really change the way you, you hold the instrument. The, the Baroque cello is held very vertically. Um, as we go on through the um, 18th century into the 19th century, we're playing up higher, shifting becomes an issue. So um, it was, I think it was Survey who, this kind of a, sort of a myth, but it, it might have some truth to it. There's a story that he got kind of portly and you know needed some extra room. So the modern cello is actually held much more horizontally, uh -huh. and it, I mean, it, <laughs> it might be, it might not be a true true story, but um, shifting is much easier. We have a lot more facility. We can get up here. We also have um, when the cello is more horizontal, you can get your arm weight much more easily down, so we can get bigger sound and all of that. So you were playing with this bow for the cello yes. and that other one for the gamba. Mm -hmm. What is going on there? <laughs> what is it? Um, well, they look so very similar. They're very similar, yes. I, I think with the, the cello bow, the, I don't know how close, um, if you can see, but the, we'll, the we'll stick is, okay, yeah. the stick is much thicker, it's more tense, um, has more tension on the, on the stick, and the hair is totally taut when, when you tighten it. Um, this is a much lighter stick. The hair is much looser, so I can stretch it. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't want to do that to, the, to this bow. Um, so this is actually, it's much closer to like a modern cello bow or a violin bow than, than this. This is just a totally different okay. kind of beast. <laughs> <laughs> and they both have pins in them. They do both have uh, turn screws, okay. yes. So the turn screw though, that wasn't, um, that's not how they were originally made. No, that's sort of a modern mm -hmm. convenience. Yeah, yeah. helpful. Yeah, yeah, yeah.